Hey YouTube, what is up? I'm J.R. Flores here. Here again I have another video on how to root your Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch on Freedom Pop. Everybody get up! So the first thing I would be showing you is how to root the Galaxy S2, but what you need to do is check what version you will have. I'm going to show you how to root on the Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch variant, but on the 4.1.2 uh, GB27 software. So you just want to go under settings and about device to see what version you have to verify. So you can see here I have the 4.1.2 GB27 software version. So as long as you have that, you're good to go. So with this version of, of 4.1.2, I'll be going to show you how to root it. But the great thing about it I'm going to show you is how to root it without losing your data and preserving it. This root is really simple and easy. It's basically two buttons that you got to do to step it, it into rooting and that's it. So, so things that you would need is the Samsung Galaxy S2, a micro USB cable, and a computer. I also posted down down in the links below on where you can get it below uh, the for the ROM that allows you to basically keep all your software and anything it's a really simple thing it's not even like a ROM all it is is patches to uh, root your phone basically so the link that you will be downloading is the file name called SPHD710 which stands for the Galaxy S2 the Epic 4G touch variant Variant and the GB27 sent for the Jelly Bean uh, ROM version, and as well as root no data means it's going to root your phone and preserve all data and will not do a factory reset. And all you basically need to do is click the link provided, and it would pop up an area on where to download it, and simply click download anywhere, such as your desktop. And so you have the link already downloaded for this. What you need to do is Basically, you see that there's a 7-zip file. It's a file which stands for a extracted software, and it's going to decompress the files associated with it. So what you need to do is basically right-click, click Run as Administrator, and from there, you need to accept user permissions, as you can see here. And it shows you an area on where to save your file. So basically, you need to just click Desktop, and extract it and it will extract the files into a folder called Odin OC as you can see here and the files are associated in there. Now all the necessary folders are, that are associated with this program are now fully extracted onto the Odin OC folder and what you need to do is simply just open up this folder here and find this uh, thing here which says a rooted node data simply right click and click run as administrator and give it user permissions as well to allow your computer to open this program and as you can see here you're popped up with this menu so now all you need to do is connect your USB cord to your computer the next step you would need to do is to grab your USB cord but before doing that you need to open up your back case on your Galaxy S2 and simply remove the battery once you remove the battery, you do simply want to plug it back in without having the cord connected. I repeat that, without having the cord connected. Simply pop it in like so. And as you can see here that the power button is here and the lower volume button is located here. You're going to put this into a developer mode. So simply hold the power button and the down, but down volume button and hold the power button to turn the device on. This would boot your phone into developer mode. As you can see here, it says a custom OS can cause critical problems. Well, the good thing is we're not going to flash the device. We're just simply going to root it so you wouldn't be having critical problems. So as you can see here, it says press the up key or down key to cancel. Just simply press the up key. As you can see here, it says downloading. All that means is that it's put into DFU mode, into developer mode. and you can access the root data storage so simply put your case back on and once you do that you need to plug in your USB cord to your phone so your computer can recognize it 
So once that happens, your computer is going to install drivers necessary, such as the Samsung drivers, in order to read your phone. Once that's done, it's going to bring you to a little notification sound. And as you can see here, that the program now recognizes your phone on a Comp 11 port. It will be on whatever port your phone is connected to, and it will just simply bring up a number. Any number is fine as long as you can see your phone is connected and it is added. And what you need to do is simply click start on there and your routing on your phone will be begin. So all you have to do now is click the start on button on your device as you can see here and as soon as you do that your phone will be entering to a different mode and it will take some time as you can see and once this is done I'll let you guys know. So, alright, as you can see that there's a blue progress bar on your phone showing you how far your phone has gotten. This is completely normal and it will be done as soon as it's full. As you can see, it just looks about finished. As you can see here, it's finishing up its uh, jailbreaking, I would say, a uh, rooting its phone. And as soon as it's done, your phone would reboot and it will be completely rooted. Another thing I wanted to note once this finishes, your phone will automatically reboot at its device and it will be saying Android is updating. That is completely normal and that means that your phone has successfully, I uh, would say, rooted. And what you would need to do is download an app called Root Checker. Now, as you can see, your phone will now reboot when it's completely finished rooting. And as you can see, I'm just going to let this reboot and show you the device still works and it's currently functional. As you can see, it's booting into its Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. And I'll be showing you an app how to know if your phone successfully rooted just for purposes of this video. You can do this on yourself as well. This app is not mandatory required, but it is a nice ha app to have to know if your phone has rooted successfully and the app is called Root Checker. It's free off the Google Play Store so you can check it out yourself as well. So simply let's unlock the device here and as you can see here my phone looks completely normal. Nothing is unchanged. My settings are now saved as well and everything basically seems to work but I will just show you this app called Root Checker to show you what this app does. As you can see, you can just simply go on here and look up for Root Checker. It's a free app at the market. So just type in Root Checker on the Google Play Store. There are multiple Root Checker apps. I would say the first five are okay. As you can see, this one is called Root Checker. This is the main one that I use, which is very nice and helpful. It's like a 300 kilobit application, nothing big. All it is is checking if your phone has successfully rooted. It's a really nice feature to have, I would say, and a really good app. Okay, so now once you have Root Checker installed, it's going to say your current device is a Samsung Galaxy S2 or it will say Epic 4G Touch. Mine here just says a Nexus S, but just ignore that. So what you want to do is click Verify Root, and once you click Verify Root, it would say Congratulations, this device has root access, which you know your phone is successfully rooted so this is a nice app to have and that's why I recommend it. Another reason why I like having root access onto my phone is that this is a Freedom Pop phone so it gives me more functionality on the phone such as removing carrier bloatware, blocking ads on your device such as app from certain apps, blocking ads off websites and another thing you can do with the root is having Wi-Fi tether which I love so I'll be showing you guys how to remove carrier bloatware how to add ad blocking software and how to have Wi-Fi tether in my next upcoming video so guys stay tuned I appreciate you guys watching and everything if you like like this video like it if you don't like it dislike it once again I'm JR Flores and have a great day